To say that the CTS rescued GM's luxury division from simply being an Escalade brand is not an overstatement. For years, Cadillac struggled to produce a compelling sports sedan to compete with the big boys. And then came the CTS, followed by a high-performance V model, and then a wagon, and new for 2011, a coupe. Capitalizing on the sedan's success, the Cadillac CTS Coupe strikes one of the most memorable poses on the automotive landscape today. Far more assertive than a BMW or Mercedes of the same ilk, the Coupe is not bashful about announcing its arrival. The second generation CTS ratcheted up the goodness, and the new Coupe inherits those traits while possessing a personality all its own. Shorter, lower, wider, and with a rear track stretched by over a half an inch, all CTS coupes start with one of my favorite GM engines, the 3.6-liter direct-injected V6, making 304 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. It's flexible, powerful, and relatively efficient, getting you 18 MPG city and 27 highway, and that's on regular unleaded. The base 3-liter engine is not offered on the coupe, the standard transmission is a six-speed auto, like I have here on my tester, though you can opt for a six-speed manual, subtracting $1,300 from the price of the car, though it requires the addition of the performance package, priced at $2,090. My rear-wheel drive car has it with the auto, and it includes 19-inch wheels with Continental Summer Performance tires, paddle shifters, a performance cooling system, performance brakes, and upgraded FE3 sport suspension. An all-wheel drive coupe is available, but you can't get the performance package with it. Compared to the sedan, the coupe has been more finely tuned for sports car performance. With changes to the stabilizer bars, firmer dampers, and wider track, the coupe has a little more bite to its handling and feels only slightly harsher while driving around town. A fair trade-off. Another not-so-favorable difference is a small 66-pound weight gain. Really no big deal, but this car weighs nearly two tons, so even with this great engine and a more aggressive final drive, I could see giving this car a power increase to make it feel quicker. As is, it produces a 0-60 to 60 time of 6.4 seconds, but knocking another half second from that would give the CTS Coupe a more competitive resume. Great steering and forceful braking are status quo. With deeply bolstered rear bucket seats and an easy mechanism for entry, the Coupe's 2 plus 2 interior is fairly usable, though headroom evaporates quickly. And rearward visibility is at a premium, where the high deck lid and tiny rear windows practically force the use of the standard rear vision camera. Trunk space gets a pinch too, down about 3 cubic feet to the sedan. My CTS Coupe Premium Collection, with the auto, performance package, and dealer-installed underhood appearance package, stickers for $50,035. A gorgeous car with all the right moves that could benefit from a bit more engine. For Drive Time on Yahoo Autos, I'm Steve Hammes.